Question 8, number 2. The number of bottles of water sold at a railway station on each day is given in the following table. We have the temperature against the number of bottles of water. And we have to find out certain things. The first thing we need to do is find the mean temperature and the standard deviation of the temperature. Now all of this gets done basically on the calculator for the most part. So I have in here entered my data. So in list 1, I have my temperatures. And in list 2, I have my number of bottles of water. So I now want to find, write down the mean temperature. So if I go to my stats again, and I go to calculations, and I go to two variable stats, and I say enter, and now I put in my list that I want. I want L1, comma, and then L2, and I say enter, and I get my data. Now you'll notice here it gives me for both the X and also for the Y. So it actually gives it for the temperature and the number of bottles. So we are uh, asked firstly to find the mean temperature, which is this one over here. This is your mean temperature. So this is 19.1538. And we would write, we would round that to one decimal place because all of these are to one decimal place. So I'd write that to 19. Point two. The standard deviation is given by this one over here, so that's 1.447, so I'd write that as 1.45, so we got that. Then it says write down the correlation coefficient for R. Now to do that, I'm going to go again to my stat. I'm going to go to my calc, but now I'm going to go to my number four, my linear regression. And I'm going to say enter. And again, I'm going to choose my columns. Like that. And I say enter. And I get my, my data. So this is my equation. If I can just write this out. I'm going to have temperature and number of bottles in. So when when putting this in, I'm going to have this is my this basically is corresponds to my x. This corresponds to my y. So your here we have this over here. We're going to use that formula, which corresponds to this formula over here. Y is equal to a x plus b. We would have n is equal to a t plus b, where the n is equal to y and your x is equal to your temperature. It says write down the correlation coefficient for R for the variables N and T. Well, my correlation coefficient is 0 0.9423. Okay, so it's nearer 0 um, 0.942. Okay, and then it says comment on it. Comment on your value for R. So because this is very close to 1, it's just about equal to 1. Close to 1, you have a very strong, very strong correlation. And it's a, it's a positive correlation, a positive correlation. In other words, as your temperature increases, the number of bottles of water also increases correspondingly. Then it says write down the value of D. Now, D is this value over here, and it corresponds to the it corresponds to the um, temperature here this one over here so that will be this value over here that would be your 11 point 11.52 or 11.5 so <clears throat> as you can see here you've got dt so that corresponds to your a that's your value in front of your x there in this formula over here so it's this one over there and then estimate how many bottles of water will be sold when the temperature is equal to 19.6 so i need to put this into my formula that the n is equal to now just write out my formula firstly we're going to get 11.52 times the temperature which is 19.6 plus 
um, and we're going to get um, this over here. Now you see it's minus 100. This is what I got over here, minus 100. So that was actually given to me plus, I can write, write that as minus 100. So I put that into my calculator and I get a value of about 125. Now this must be a whole number because it says estimate. So you wouldn't estimate 124.63. You'd always round it up to a whole number because bottles of water can only be sold um, in discrete values. And then it says, on a day when the temperature was 36 degrees, Peter calculates that 314 bottles would be sold. Give one reason why his answers might be unreliable. Well, you're going to, we are only going up to a temperature a maximum temperature of about 21 degrees. Now, can we really say that when we extrapolate, when we extrapolate this up to 36 degrees, that this relationship is going to hold? Because we may get something like this, the data like that, up to 20 degrees. But then after 20, the data may start doing this, may start increasing very rapidly. We're not sure if that line is going to hold true. So it would be un, unreliable to extrapolate so far away from our data that we are given.